is up, Sexy Beast, Crazy Rabbit here, and today we're going to be comparing the M1 Grand and the MX Grand on round 50 and seeing which weapon is the superior weapon. So let's go ahead and get this shit started. So the MX Grand is actually, I would say, the Black Ops 3 version of the M1 Grand. Obviously, like, I probably didn't even need to tell you that. You probably already knew. But there is some differences in these weapons. Like, it wasn't just an immediate pullover from World of War. They didn't just copy and paste the M1 into Black Ops 3 and just call it the MX. They actually changed a lot of things about it and in my opinion, made it a lot better. But besides that, let's go ahead and look at the M1 Grand first since it was actually the first one in Zombies. So the M1 on round 50, I would say it's a little bit under average. It's really nothing special on round 50. It's gonna hold 12 in its clip and 150 in stock. So with the whole ammo situation, it really doesn't hold that much ammo. And I say this all the time, Black Ops 1 weapons really sucked balls. They had really no damage and they really didn't hold that much ammo. But the M1 Grand really did not carry any ammo whatsoever. This thing really, really did lack in ammo. And on round 50, you want a weapon that can do a lot of damage, has a fast fire rate. Well, you probably want these on every single round. And also has a lot of ammo. And the M1 Grand really only has, I guess, maybe the damage and the fire rate. But other than that, it really does lack in ammo. And on round 50, it's just going to take you way too many shots to actually kill a zombie, and I really want to recommend this weapon on round 50. There's just so many other weapons that make this weapon look very, very bad, and you're just going to find yourself wasting so much ammo and not really killing that many zombies. Now the MX, on the other hand, I feel like is the upgraded version of the M1. It kind of fixed all of its flaws that it had, and that really only one flaw was the ammo. So the MX is going to hold 30 in the clip when you actually fully upgrade it, and 300 in stock, basically double of what the M1 has. So even if these weapons did the same amount of damage, you'd have to give it to the MX just because it holds double the ammo. So if the M1 could really only kill one zombie, that means the MX would be able to kill two zombies and two is more than one, or at least that's what I learned in elementary school. Now the only downside about the MX is that you cannot reload until you completely empty your clip. So if you have 15 shots left, you can't reload. You have to completely go down to zero, empty your clip, let it ping. I love that sound, I really don't know, I just really love that little ping sound like when that clip ejects, I just really love that. You have to wait for the clip to eject and then you can throw a whole new one in and then you can start using the weapon again. So if you have one shot left, you better make that one shot count because if zombies are coming up on you, you might die if that one shot does not count. And on round 50, that one shot ain't gonna count. But I've really never ran into the problem where I only have like 5 bullets left and those 5 bullets don't save me. I've always been pretty aware of how much ammo I have left and I've been pretty cautious of making sure that I'm never just stuck with like two bullets in my weapon. I've always been pretty good with being able to keep track of how much ammo I actually do have left in my clip. So I guess like the MX Grand is really the only weapon in any FPS game to ever actually follow the rules of guns and ammo. So usually if you have like 50 in stock and you have 10 in the actual clip or magazine or whatever gun you're using, then you shoot two bullets and then you reload, you're still going to keep those eight bullets that you should have lost because you technically reloaded and threw out that magazine. But in every FPS game, you don't lose them, they just carry over to your stock. But the EMX Grand isn't like that, since you technically can't reload, so you have to shoot all your ammo out in the clip before you can actually load, so it makes it a little bit more realistic in a way. And it really doesn't bother me that much, I think it's kind of fun in a way, it doesn't really make it too hard or too, like, unbearable to use. It really doesn't bother me that much. And on round 50, the MX is actually going to be able to get some kills. Now, it's not going to be the world's fastest weapon. I compared it to the SVU and Draken by saying the MX Grand was its little brother. It wants to be as good as the Draken and the SVU, but it's just not quite there. And it's going to take a couple more shots than like the Draken or the SVU would to kill on round 50. So if I had to decide which of these weapons is the better weapon to have on round 50, I'm going to give it to the MX. It's just such an obvious choice. It does a lot more damage in my opinion. Now again, I don't have stats in front of me, but if I had to guesstimate, I would say that the MX is a little bit more powerful and holds more ammo, and that's really all you need. More damage, more ammo. The MX is by far the better weapon to have on round 50. You're actually going to be able to get some kills. The M1 kind of really does struggle to get some kills, and you'll find yourself running out of ammo super, super quick. So I'm very curious to know which weapon do you guys prefer, not which weapon do you guys think is better, just which weapon do you guys happen to like more. So if you guys could, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Peace.